Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about taking your seven objects uh, that are your isometric objects, setting this up onto your title block, and PDFing, taking it into your uh, Adobe, and setting up a overlay. So here in AutoCAD, uh, you can see that I have these objects arranged here. And, and really what I'm going to say is that you want to have them arranged close, okay? They don't have to be exact or perfect, but to make your life easier, you want to go ahead and keep them in roughly the same positions as you see here. Now, if this one is a little further over here to the right or left, okay, no big deal, all right? But get them there so they're close. Um, if not, it'll still work, but it might just be a little bit more maneuvering when you get into your PDF. So what you want to do is make sure you go ahead and get this set up onto your title block. Now, by now, this should be no surprise how to get something into a title block, okay? Make sure that you have this thing in here so you can scale this up, set your uh, scale here so your scale set one to two. All right, that's all set and beautiful. And then go ahead and PDF this sheet, all right? Making sure all your text is right, you got your logo, all your border lines are showing up here correct uh, for the title block. Then go ahead and PDF the sheet. Once you PDF the sheet and it opens up here as a PDF, Turn it, if it's flipping upside down here or turning around, make sure you turn this thing over here with your thumbs. So you hit your thumbs, go ahead and turn this thing so it's the proper orientation, step one. Okay, then you're going to step back into the assignment and you're going to come up here to the assignment and here it says ISO 7 objects, red line overlay, sheet thin. So what this is going to be is a red line overlay of your objects. So once you do this, you can go ahead and click on that, and now you're downloading the red line overlay. So this has been opened up. Hit the download button over here, and that's going to come up over here and it show up in your download folder of your computer. So we're going to go back here to my PDF. So I'm back here at my PDF. Then I'm going to just go ahead and right-click, and I want to hit Add Image. So I'm adding an image, and here's my download folder. It says ISO 7 objects, red line overlay sheet, thin from Photoshop. That's what I want. Open. And now you can see I'm kind of dragging this thing around my screen. Click. And now it's come into my screen. Now, you'll see that if I go ahead and put this over top of my drawing, my drawings disappear. So we don't want that. You want to right click on this, go down to the word arrange, send to back. And now it's behind your image, yet it is transparent so you can see through it. So you're just going to go ahead and start moving these objects so that they sit over top of each object. And you can check to see if they're right. So zoom in. Use the zoom buttons up here at the top of the screen. Zoom in on one object here. All right. And if you need to, use the bar at the bottom or press in with the roller ball and move your mouse a little bit. And just go a little bit. If you go really fast, it goes really, really fast. Okay, so just move your mouse a little bit in the direction you want to go after you press the roller ball in. And this is how you can pan around a PDF. Another way you can do it is you can come over here to the thumb and you can see I'm panning this little window. Okay, so these are all ways you can use PDFs. Now, I want to take and move the red line so it overlays my drawing to see if I did it correctly. So just use your left mouse button, click and hold, and just slowly move the mouse around. And you'll see you can get it so it sits directly over top of the object. Okay? Then just go ahead and you can move down to another object and take a look. Now, your objects aren't going to be perfectly set where these are because I've made an actual copy of mine. So you're just going to take and then slowly move each one of these a little bit till they overlay and you can see they're perfect. If for some reason yours are not perfect like this to the, the grading overlay sheet, then what you do is you mark them out, make a note of them, all right? And if you want to go ahead and make a note on your PDF, you can do that, all right? What you can do to make a note is grab the comment tool over here on the right, and you can grab your line tool, and if something's not right here, you can put a big old circle on it. And then you can go back to AutoCAD, you can look at your PDF, and in AutoCAD, go back in and make the corrections, okay? So this is called redlining. This is a, a skill uh, that uh, drafts people use to get their drawings to be correct, okay? So they will redline off of different things. Now, they're obviously not going to make generally just photocopies or copies of drawings, but if they need to check to make sure that something they did prior uh, was correct, and they got to make sure that it's been, been set 
and it's good. They use this technique to overlay drawings, okay, to actually make drawings more robust, okay. So do this, overlay these drawings, check them out, make sure, um, make sure these things are are working and they're perfect, okay, and then submit the PDF, okay. So there's no reason why anybody uh, in this class should not get all of these 100% correct because I'm giving you the overlay sheet. You can check and recheck and fix as much as you necessarily need to. Use that skill. How do you make sure what you're doing is correct? That's what I want you to do here as you learn how to make isometric objects. All right, so I hope this helps. Uh